tall. Feet parallel, ankle, knees and hips in line. Engage the core, so lower abs, hips, glutes, pelvic floor. Pull it all up as tight as you can. Release it a little bit so you can still breathe and relax the shoulders and relax the knees. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. We're gonna look to the left, center and right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right, back to center, look up to the ceiling, down through the center chin to chest, look up to the ceiling, down through the center chin to chest, look up to the ceiling, down through the center chin to chest, one last time, look up to the ceiling, down through the center chin to chest, bring the head back to neutral, arms come out to the side, relax the shoulders down away from the ears, still tall through the spine, rotate the palms up, imagine the air's heavy, and lift up, rotate, push back down, rotate up, rotate down, rotate up, rotate down, rotate up, rotate down, one more, rotate up, rotate, push back down, now rotate the palms forward, reach forward, rotate, push back, rotate forwards, Rotate, push back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep the neck in neutral and keep breathing. Last one. Arms come down, shoulder roll. And another one. A side bend. So reaching the hand over the head and push the hip out to the side and come back up through the center. Take it the other way. for one more each side. Okay, come back up, engage the core, squeeze the glutes to stop the pelvis rotating. Arms come out in line and we're gonna rotate and look behind us and bring it back to centre. Really work on keeping the pelvis facing forwards to start with. Shoulders down and relax. Keep breathing. Okay, after this one, we're going to release the glutes and allow the pelvis to rotate so we get further round, working lower down the spine. one. Bring it back to centre, arms come down, shoulder roll and another one. So standing on the left leg, hold on to something if you need to. We're going to take the knee out to the side and open out the hip. Keep breathing, keep those shoulders relaxed.
Last one. Change sides, standing tall. Take the hip out to the side. The knee out to the side even, open out the hip. one come back onto the left leg we do rotation of the wrists and the ankle change direction and flexion point and flex Change sides, standing tall, rotation. Change direction. And flexion, point and flex. Bring the feet back to parallel. Ankle, knees and hips in line, core engaged. We're gonna come up onto the toes, reach up till you feel the rib cage lift. But relax the shoulders down away from the ears. As high up as you can on the toes. And as slow as you can, come back down. Push the hands back, lift the toes, keep breathing. Go again. controlled as you come up and really controlled as you come back down. For two more. the upper body we're now going to work on the feet so Mexican wave with the toes so lift the big toe and the next one and the next one all the way to the little one and all the way back down whatever movement you can get Big toe, just the big toe, put it down, lift the big toe, put it down, lift the big toe, put it down, lift the big toe, put it down. This time lift the big toe, keep it lifted, and then we're going to lift and drop the smaller toes. Last one. And okay, we're going to scrunch the toes under, clench the fists, then stretch them out. Clench and stretch. Scrunch and stretch. Scrunch and stretch. 
scrunch and stretch, scrunch and stretch, scrunch and stretch, scrunch and stretch and release. And push onto the toes and the tops, toes and tops, toes and tops, change sides, toes and tops, toes and tops, toes and tops, change sides, inside edge, outside edge, inside edge, outside edge, inside edge, outside edge, change sides, inside edge, outside edge, inside edge, outside edge, inside edge, outside edge, and bring the feet back to parallel. Right, we're gonna come down onto the mat. So if you so sitting tall, knees hip distance apart, feet hip distance apart. Feet can be flat or up at an angle, however's comfortable for you, that's fine. Shoulders back and relax, core engaged. So pull the belt in just underneath the belly button as tight as you can. Pull the belt in just above the belly button as tight as you can, then release a little bit so you can still breathe. And relax the shoulders down and back. And we're gonna take it back for a count of six. So we're going to go back for one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. Relax those shoulders and bring it back up for one, two, three, four, five, six. Down for six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. Doesn't matter how far you go back, as long as the abs are working and it's not the back. And if you need to release the hip flexors, please do. And back up for one, two, three, four, five, six. Keep breathing down for six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. And back up for one, two, three, four, five, six. Back for six. One, two, three four five six and hold relax those shoulders and back up for one two three four five six this time we're going to pause halfway we're going to pause at three and then carry on so we're going to go back for one two three hold relax the legs relax the shoulders and then back for four five six and hold so reverse that we're going to come back for six five four and hold three two one back up go again one two three hold keep breathing keep those shoulders relaxed four five six hold and back up for six, five, four, hold. Three, two, one. I'm gonna go for two more of those. I'm gonna go back for one, two, three, and hold. Four, five, six, and hold. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed, release the hip flexors if you need to. And back up for six, five, four, hold three, two, one. Last one. Back for one, two, three, and hold. Four, five, six, and hold. Back up for six, five, four, hold. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Three, two, one. Brilliant. So from here, we're going to roll down onto the mat. So make sure the shoulders are relaxed. So engage the core. We're going to lift the legs up to tabletop. Now make sure the pelvis stays in neutral. So you want a slight natural arch in the back. So engage the lower abs. And we're going to tap the toes down to the mat one at a time, 
slow and steady. So right toe, slowly bring it back up. Left toe, slowly bring it back up. Right, bring it up. Left, bring it up. Just check in, make sure the shoulders, arms and neck are all relaxed. Right leg, left, keep breathing. Right, left. Obviously, if it starts to, your pelvis starts to lift, bring the toes closer to the body. The closer you touch down, the easier it is for your abs to control and protect the pelvis, stabilize the pelvis. So we're going for two more each side. Keep breathing. Last one. Bring the knees into chest and roll them in one direction. And then roll them in the other. So bring the feet down to the mat. Knees still hip distance apart. We're going to keep the shoulders relaxed. We're going to lift up using the upper abs. So just underneath the rib cage, between the rib cage and the belly button. We're going to lift the chest to the thighs. We're going to lift up, relax the neck, pause, look at the knees, relax the shoulders, slowly come back down. Lift and hold, shoulders relax, and slowly come back down. Keep breathing, lift and hold, slowly come back down. Lift and hold, slowly come back down. Lift and hold, slowly come back down, two more, lift and hold, slowly come back down, last one, lift and hold, relax the shoulders, slowly bring it back to the mat, relax the arms down by your side, we have to take the legs out so the feet out to the side of your mat knees stay bent relax the shoulders we're going to come up into the bridge with the feet nice and wide you want to keep the knees wide so as you lift up don't allow the knees to drop into the center so push through the feet lift the tailbone lift the pelvis peel the vertebrae one at a time all the way to the top lift and hold and slowly bring it back down one vertebrae at a time. Keep the shoulders and the arms relaxed. Once the last vertebrae touches down, tip the pelvis. The last thing to touch down is the tailbone. Go again. Keep the knees nice and wide. Lift. Pause at the top. Relax the neck and shoulders. Slowly bring it back down. Rock the pelvis back down, tailbone touches down. Pause at the bottom before lifting and going again. Keep breathing. Really lift those hips nice and high. Make sure the knees stay above the ankles. And slowly take it back down to the mat. One vertebrae at a time. Rock the pelvis. Tip the tailbone back. Going for three more. Lift all the way 
up to the top, nice and controlled and steady. Pause at the top before bringing it back down. Two more. Keep breathing, slowly bring it back down. Last one. Slowly bring it back down. Right, keeping your feet where they are, we're going to lift the heels. So you might need to bring your toes slightly closer into your body. Lift the heels off the mat. And we're going to come up again. So lift up into bridge. So you should be able to get your hips slightly high. You should feel it working more of the leg muscles. Slowly bring it back down. If you can, keep the heels lifted. If you're prone to foot crunch, you might want to drop the heels in between each repetition. Take it up again, slow and steady. Lift. Pause at the top. Make sure those heels are nice and high. Slowly drop it back down. again. Keep the neck and shoulders relaxed. Make sure the belly button's poured into the spine. Really control the movement. Last two. Last one. Okay, bring the knees into chest and roll them in one direction. And then the other. Take the left leg down long along the mat. Right leg goes up to the ceiling, trying to keep the leg as straight as you can. Now, if this is an issue for you, then you can either bend the left leg slightly or keep the left leg straight, the one along the mat, and just bend the right knee and use the right knee to do the circles. So, but if you can, straight right leg up pointing to the ceiling, Left leg long along the mat. I'm going to do small circles with the right leg. So dinner plate size circles. Change direction. Higher size circles. Change direction. And if you can and you have room, three circles as big as you can in each direction.
we're going to change leg. So the right one goes down along the mat, left one comes up to the ceiling, small circles. Make sure the core stays nice and stable. So the pelvis is nice and still being held in place by the lower abs. Change direction. Neck and shoulders should be nice and relaxed. Tire size circles. Change direction. And three circles in each direction as big as you can. Then bring the knees into chest and roll them in first one direction, and then the other. Bring the legs back up to tabletop. Arms come gently down by the side, shoulders nice and relaxed. Now keep the lower abs pulled in to protect the pelvis and to keep it stable going to drop the right knee to the side without the pelvis tipping so as soon as the pelvis starts to lift or move that's as far as you can drop the knee and bring it back to center the right leg stays stable then the left leg drops to the side bring the left one back drop the right so this is using the abs to keep the pelvis stable and work in the hip and the inner and outer thighs. Keep breathing. So keep a 90 degree bend in the knee. Breathing, we're going for one more each side. Okay, bring the knees into chest, roll them in one direction. And then the other. Okay, feet come down back onto the mat, knees stay bent. Bring the arms up, pointing to the ceiling. Push your shoulders down into the mat. And we're gonna bend the, knee, the elbows and bring the elbows down to the mat. Then rotate the back of the hands onto the floor. So imagine you're doing wall angels on the floor. So you're trying to get as much of the back of the arms and the hands on the mat as you can. If you're struggling to get the back of the hands onto the mat, then just do a small movement of a few inches in each direction, up and down. If your back of the hand and arms are touching the mat, draw the elbows down towards the body and push the hands up and away above your head. Keep breathing. Wobble, bring the elbows in and take them away. Okay, 
We bring the arms back up above the head. We're now going to take the left arm down by the hip. The right hand goes up above the body, above the head. Then we're going to change them over, pushing the shoulders into the mat. Change them over, really work the shoulders, the rotator cuffs. Lift them back up. Breathing, shoulders down away from the ears. Change them up above the face, swap them over. One more in each direction. From here, we're going to rock back up to sitting. So sitting tall, we'll just do a little bit of hip work. So sitting tall, hands gently down by the side. We're just going to drop the knee into the centre, working the hip. Keep breathing. Doesn't matter whether the knee goes all the way down or just a few inches, as long as you're getting the rotation. Just make sure the pelvis stays on the mat. side bring it back up now sit however is comfortable for you legs crossed legs out in front knees bent sitting tall through the body so arms come out to the side and we're just going to do a couple of rotations keep the shoulders down away from the ears One, bring it back to center. Arms come down. Now shrug the shoulders up to the ears and drop it down. Shrug them up and release. Shrug them up and release. Shrug them up and release. Right, so that's the last of the mat work. We're going to come back up to standing. We'll finish with a little bit of arms and then do the balance. So standing tall, feet parallel, ankle, knees and hips in line, core engaged. So a couple of shoulder rolls, just get the position right for the arms, engage the core. Now I want you to imagine you've got a weight in each hand and we're going to slowly lift it up, one in front and one to the side. So don't come above your shoulder height and slowly take it back down. And then change, so the right, well the other one comes in front and one goes out to the side. So really think about the weight being really heavy in the hands. So core engaged, tall through the body, soft knees. Keep breathing. And really slowly coming up and really slowly back down. And then change. So the other one comes in front and the other one comes out to the side. Last one. Okay, taking both hands, palms facing out. We're going to do a big circle back. And another one. Last one. And now we're going to go three forward. 
still with the palms facing out as much as you can. Last one. Okay, shoulder roll back. Standing tall, so into tree pose. Foot's either just touching down, just above the ankle or above the knee. Engage the core, tall through the body, shoulders relaxed, and lift up and breathe. Leg down, change sides, standing tall. So tall through the body, shoulders relaxed. down bring the leg down I'm going to try bring it back to center arms come down shoulder roll standing on the left leg right leg comes out to the side arms come up wide so if you're standing on the left leg we're tipping to the left so make sure the arms stay wide chest nice and open so take the weight off the right leg and tip into star and hold Keep breathing. Slowly bring it back to centre. Change leg. Stand on the right leg. Left leg comes out to the side. Open out the chest. Take the left leg off first. Get the balance there. And tip into star and hold. Breathing and slowly bring it back down. Okay, our 20 second balances. So standing, feet parallel, ankle, knees, and hips in line, hands on hips. And we're going to close our eyes. Relax the shoulders, keep breathing. Standing on the left leg, lift the right, close the eyes if you can. sides. Three, two, one. Doing well, keep breathing. Tight rope, so dominant foot comes in front, soft knees, but weight even between the two. Hands on hips, relax those shoulders, core stays engaged, keep breathing. Brilliant, right. Standing tall, interlink the fingers, push them away. Lift up, and we're gonna do a side bend. 
center, side bend, center, one more each side. Rotation, center, rotation, center, interlink the fingers, push them away, really push the hands away, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Then we're going to shake the hands out, shake the arms, shake the feet, shake the legs, Shake everything down, really shake off the stress of the day. Last shoulder roll, and that's it. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you all.